for me, there's nothing I enjoy more in life than to feel like I'm showing up and being present to serve. Hello. Hey, Linda. How are you doing? Good, good, good. How about you? I'm doing just fine. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. And here's the patient. Hey, Tim. Hi, Scott. How's it going? I'm good. You? Well, not bad. I'm still here with everybody. Oh. Tim has leukemia, and it's actually a leukemia that he probably got as a result of radiation that he had received several years back for prostate cancer. Well, you can tell by my voice how he gets kind of quivery. Yeah. And it's just, the battery's running down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm about as... Uh, Excuse me, I'm about as ready to go as I'll ever be. Yeah. yeah. Where Tim is right now, not everyone gets to. I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain. Yeah. I've had work. He's completed his relationships. He's said his goodbyes. Uh, and he's done it in a way where his heart has really been as wide open as you'll see. <laughs> okay, Scott. I love you, man. Here. There, take care of them sick people, man. <laughs> oh, really? Ah, oh, great. Just as I do the work with people who are uh, dying, I find myself called to make that same offer of service to other people who are living and wanting to give them a way to more fully show up each day of their lives. We have arrived. We've arrived. All early people, and in particular in this country, Native Americans have used rites of passage to mark major transitions in life. Typically, a rite of passage involves some kind of ordeal, some kind of very celebrated, ritualized way of marking the end of one phase of life and the beginning of another life. As our center pole. I've never felt nervous or uncomfortable being in this, in this circle and sharing. The essential part of a vision quest is being with your story and naming it in as clear and as concise a way as you can. My intention is to let go of those habits. Do not be so critical of myself and to take chances. And so the act of being on a desert ridge top or wherever you might choose to do this, to be there for four days, four nights, minimal shelter, no food, to be exposed to the natural elements, to really feel like you are a physical animal who will one day die. It strips away all the things that really don't matter. It gets it down to the core of what's the purpose of my life. I had just gone through a fairly serious, life-threatening event. It was, to me, like the universe, like God sort of knocking on the door and saying, uh, Jeremiah, are you living your life fully? I had kind of run up against a wall, a dead end, with my oldest daughter, who was in her own life at a dead end. And just, there were so many things going on, and I didn't know how to hold it anymore. I ended up writing my daughter a letter, and I found my hope for her again. I found the way to hold her in love. That was the turning point for that. It was incredible. Doing a vision quest will not make your life easier. It will make it more authentic. And that, for me, is the biggest benefit, is you really get a clear idea of why you're on this planet, what it is that you're uh, being called to, to do. Very similar to what happens to people as they're physically dying. Oh yeah, I get very melancholy when I talk about them. Well, you know, I've been thinking back over all the visits we've had over this last year, um, asking myself, you know, what's been really, what's your life really been about? It really has been first and foremost about your family. Yeah. Huh? yeah. That's one thing I learned. <clears throat> that's one thing I learned from the Italian people. Uh huh. La familia. Mm hmm. And truthfully, I believe in that word. Yeah. The essence of what he's about is really shining right now. You know, believe it or not, and this is no phony baloney, I'm anxious to go because I want to know what's over on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say, you know, it's a universe out there and it's no end, never ending. Yeah. I want to grab a piece of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go for it. Because yeah. I ain't getting much done down here. You ready to cross over? 
Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah.